Good evening, I'm Joe Leon, and tonight we're going to play 51st State, the Master's Edition. We're going to do it in solo mode using an automated player. To start the game, I'm going to deal six cards and I get to choose four of them for my opening hand. We have the Clay Pit, Huge Machinery. That's not supposed to be there. The Church. Propaganda Center. Now, Propaganda Center is from the Promo 1 set. The deck here is the Just the 51st State deck and the Promo Set 1. We have Thieves' Den and we have a Shelter. Well, I am going to take Huge Machinery. There is no production here. So we probably take that in preparation for a deal. I like the Propaganda Center. And we're going to take the Thieves' Den just so we can store some stuff between turns. Those get put in a discard. The next phase, and the first phase of every turn, is the Lookout Phase. For the Lookout Phase, you draw four cards. Turn over the top card in each of the connection decks, and there should be six cards. Give those a shuffle. And there are six now. And we'll turn over the top connection card. We have Junk Train, and we have the Punks. For our lookout, we have the parking lot, which is a production card. We have the negotiator, the factory, and the wrecked airplane. I'm going to take the parking lot because I want some production. The AI player gets one of these three. And he's going to take the wrecked airplane. We'll put his tableau over that side there. And from these two, uh, hmm, we're going to take the factory and give him the negotiator, which is an action. And then he gets to build one additional one, which is the assembly plant. And we're off. Right off the bat, he's three points ahead of me because he has three builds the end at the end of the game the game will end when somebody reaches 25 victory points and then it's going to be the sum of the victory points and the number of locations you have built in your 51st state so he's already ahead by three i do get the first turn oh first we have to do production i'm playing appalachia appalachian so we get three workers We get a brick, we get a gray contact token, and then we get one additional card, which is scrap metal. All right, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to spend two workers to take the junk train. The AI player's turn. If there is one of these available, he automatically takes it and scores two points. My turn. We are going to use the junk train to take three contact or three blue contact tokens. The AI player attempts to take a contact card. It is not there. Therefore, he attempts to attack us. Draw the top card. Compare these two icons to anything in our state. If it is, it's destroyed. He gets three attempts. 
So that's the first attempt. We are going to spend two of the contact tokens to make a deal for a gear. Whenever you make a deal, you get whatever it supplies immediately. If he attempts to take a contact card, he cannot. He attacks. Doesn't match anything. That's his second attack. He has one more attack coming. Now I'm going to take a brick and discard a card to gain two contact tokens. We're going to discard the We're going to discard the parking lot. Oh no, I don't want to discard the parking lot. I want to discard the clay pit. And that's going to give me two gray tokens. The AI player plays his third card. Again, can't attack anything. So he's going to pass on his next turn. Now I can play things safely. Which includes paying two of the gray tokens to build my parking lot, which is going to give me a gear for every gear in my production. I am going to play one contact token to get an action of a huge machinery. I'm going to spend a worker and a gear to gain three contact tokens. Play one of those contact tokens to get the propaganda section. Spend one of the contact tokens to get a feature of scrap metal, which put three on this location. I do not have to, I can spend them and do not have to discard them during cleanup. And then I'm going to spend my last contact token to give me a feature of the Thieves Den, which is going to allow me to store that there. Cleanup phase, that goes away, that goes away. All right, so right now I have five and no victory points. He has three and two victory points. We go back to the lookout. Flip up the punks, flip up the merchants, Draw four cards. We have the camp, which is a feature. The church. The assassin. And negotiator. Oh, dear. Hmm. I think we're going to take the assassin. Gets a negotiator. I will take the church, give him the camp. And then he builds one more, which is the clay pit. And we go to production. So I gain a gear from my deal. I gain three workers. And a brick, contact token, and a card. And then this allows me to gain one gear for each gear in my production. So I gain three gears. And this one was stored, so it comes back up here. Hmm, I need four to attack, four or five to attack his features or actions. That's not going to work real well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to spend two workers to take the merchants. 
He takes the punks and gains two victory points. That should come off last cleanup. I'm going to spin the merchants to get two blue contact tokens. Actually, no, I'm not. Because he's going to be attacking me this turn. I need to do this just in case. And get three grays. Okay. Now, his turn. He attacks. He destroys a star or a brick. I have no stars or bricks. So it's my turn. Uh... We are going to play the merchants to get two contact tokens. He attacks people or ammo. I have two. I have the thieves den and the parking lot. We start with the priority is the distance, so he destroys my parking lot. When he destroys my parking lot, I get the blue goods. He gains two victory points, and I get a ruin. All right. And that takes care of his attack. So now we are free. So we're going to spend two gray to contact tokens to get the action of the scrap trader. And then we are going to spend a gear to get a victory point. And we can do that twice. Spend a gear to get a victory point. Uh, we are going to use our two blues to make a deal for a victory point. And whenever you make a deal, you get the value of it. I have a brick. And two contact tokens. Okay, we can save the brick. So we'll use one of the contact tokens to bring out the assassin, which is going to give me a gun. That's not going to be much useful use. And we're going to save the gun. Save the brick. These three go away. This goes away. This and this are used. That is used up. And we go to another lookout phase. So we will have gain two blue tokens, or spend a gun and gain three red. Rick tank. Excavator, Oil Trader, or Gun Shop. All right. I think we're going to take the Excavator. And he gets the wrecked tank. And I think we're going to take the oil trader, give him the gun shop. He gets one more, which is open production. So we're going to put that down there so I know I can use it. And then we go to production. I get a victory point. I get a gear. Three workers, a brick, a contact token, a card, and then for my assassin, I get a gun, and then these two can come back over here, and the card I drew was Gasoline Drinker's Den. All right, here we go. I think I want to spend a gun to get the thugs. 
So I'm going to spend two workers and take the thugs. He, of course, takes the merchants and scores two victory points. We're going to spend the two guns. Oops, only need to spend one. Spend one gun to get three red contact tokens. He attacks me. He's attacking bullets or stars. We have the scrap trader or the assassin. Scrap trader is further, so he destroys that. And gains two victory points. I get a ruin and a gear. All right, so if I'm going to attack him, it has to be this turn. Hmm. Okay, I will. I will spend my three red contact tokens to destroy his fuel tank, which is going to give me two fuel. He passes. Now I can spend a brick. to build over that ruin which will give me a victory point to develop it and then i will spend my two fuel to get two victory points i will spend a worker and a gear to gain three contact tokens We'll spend two of those. Now we're going to spend a brick to build over this ruin and develop it, which is going to give me a construction token. I'm going to develop the propaganda center using my construction token. Now, since it's a construction token, the symbols do not have to match. So I get the oil trader and a point for developing. And I will save my gun. I will save my gear. All these tokens go away. I need to find some card draw somewhere. Cleanup phase. That's it. Lookout phase. We have the merchants for two blue contact tokens. And again, spend a gun to get three. Right now, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And ten is eighteen. To my seven and nine, sixteen. Go to lookout phase. Underground warehouse. The docks. Shadow. And the old cinema. All right. We're going to take the old cinema. I got plenty of gears. He's going to build the underground warehouse. I think we're going to take Shadow, and he goes to go build the open production. He also builds the arena. Okay. I gain a victory point. I gain a gear. Three workers. A great contact. A brick and a card. I gain a gun and a construction token. I get these two back. 
and we're ready to play. All right, turn one. Yeah, we're going to spend two workers to take the thugs. He takes merchants, gains two victory points. I'm going to spend the thugs and the gun. Gain three red tokens. He's going to attack me. Brick or star. We have the brick. We have the star. So he's going to attack the oil trader. Which is going to give me gasoline. And a ruin. It's going to give him two points. I am going to... I think what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to destroy my old cinema and gain a victory point and a card. I'm going to spend the fuel to get two blue contact tokens. I'm going to spend those blue contact tokens to make a deal for bricks. I'm going to spend a brick to build shadow over my ruin, develop it, which gives me a victory point. I'm going to spend a red token to gain a victory point. I'm going to spend a red token to gain a victory point. I can do that twice. We are going to spend my construction token to build over the thieves' den with the abandoned suburbs. That's going to give me a victory point for development. And it looks like I'm done. That's a waste of materials. Okay. Okay, huge machinery, fixer, the shipwreck, and the hideout. We're going to take the shipwreck. He builds a fixer. I'm going to take the hideout. He builds huge machinery. And he builds the Merc Outpost. We get a brick, a victory point, and a gear. Three workers. A brick. A gray token. A card. And a gun and a construction token. Okay, and we drew a uh, Jarosh. That helps. Hmm. We're going to spend two workers to take the punks. He takes merchants and scores two. I am going to spend worker and the gear to gain three contact tokens. He is attacking gas or stars. We have a star at two, gas at three, so he destroys the gas. 
I get a fuel and a ruin. He gets two victory points. Now I'm going to play punks for two red tokens. He passes. I'm going to spend two tokens, one and then two, and two victory points. Spend a token to get Shirash out there. We're going to spend two tokens to get Shipwreck. Spend the fuel to get two tokens and make a deal for a victory point. And that cost me my two blue tokens. I'm out of cards again. I'm out of turns. No card draw whatsoever. Junk Train and the Punks. There's a card. Radioactive Fuels, Methane Storage, and the Museum. We're definitely taking the pub. And we will take the museum. He gets methane storage. And he gets the shipwreck. All right. I gain two victory points. A brick and a gear. Three workers. A brick and a card. A gun. Destruction token. Universal token. Okay, I need to squeeze four points out here somewhere really quick. So I'm going to use my gun to get two red tokens. He is going to take the punks and score two. I am going to use my two tokens. to destroy the museum, which is going to give me a victory point and a card. He's going to take the junk train and gain two points. I'm going to use a worker and a gear to gain three contact tokens. Spend two of those contact tokens Oh, nope, he attacks me. Brick or ammo? We have a brick two, ammo one, ammo two, brick three. Brick three wins. And he gets two points. Hmm. So we'll spend two contact tokens, play the pub, we'll spend a brick to build over that ruin, building bonus of one victory point for each gun, one, two, three.
Actually, let's undo that. What we're going to do first is we're going to build an assassin for a contact token, which gives me a gun. We are going to spend the brick now to build over that, which gives me one point for development, and then one, two, three, four more points. Four more points. Uh, well, we can spend a brick to build over this ruin. Give me a feature. And I get one point for every statue. So that's one victory point. And we're going to spend a worker and a gear. Again, two victory points. I'm going to spend the universal token to give me a fixer. And that is all she wrote, folks. I am done. So, final score, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. 17 is 41. And then I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 is 42. Squeaked out of victory. Thank you for watching. time to go. If you found this video helpful, please leave a like and a comment. Until next time, have fun trading.